Namaskar Ashtangi. My name is Morgan. I'm the Ashtanga nurse and author of the book Why Yoga Works. And I've seen a lot of requests out there for information on how to do your yoga practice with a shoulder injury. A couple years ago, I fractured and dislocated the left clavicle, completely immobilizing this left arm. I actually learned how to use chopsticks with my right hand because I couldn't give up sushi at the time. I still haven't given up sushi. What I want to do today is show you how I practiced Surya Namaskara A with a shoulder injury when I had fractured and dislocated the clavicle. One of the first things you need to consider for rehabilitation of your shoulder is just how much you can actually move your shoulder. So in the instance when I had fractured and dislocated the clavicle, I couldn't take the arm out to the side. That was impossible. I couldn't take the arm out in front. All of the mobility in that shoulder was limited, so I was only able to lift up my right hand in that moment. As I started to gain momentum and gain use of my shoulder back after it had been in a sling for four weeks and then another two weeks of complete rest, not lifting anything heavy, I then started my rehab process. Now, the first thing I made sure that I kept in mind when rehabbing my arm was to keep the hands facing downward. So the palms, when I lifted the arms out to the side, always stayed down until I got to about the Y in YMCA, and then I turned the palms facing the sky until I was able to bring the hands together. And the same way going back down. Again, palms face down all the way till about the Y in YMCA, and then the palms can turn together, bringing the hands together above the head. You may not be able to bring the hands together fully above the head, and you may not be able to lift the arms out to the side. So if that's the case, then you need some assistance. You can take your arm that's not injured and then hold the injured arm. So locking hands, inhale, take the arms up as high as they would go. So in this case, they can only go about three quarters of the way up. And that's fine. That's the rehab process. Eventually the arms go all the way up, but take your time with it, go slow, don't rush into it. Another important thing to consider is placing weight on the arm. So during the course of my rehab, I wasn't able to press down. So no push-up position, no chatwari position, no upward facing dog, no downward facing dog. I had to keep weight off of the arm. So I couldn't push down into that hand. So let me show you how I did Surya Namaskara A. Step one, unroll your yoga mat. Inhale, arms up, palms touch above the head. Exhale, releasing down to the floor, a table or a chair. Inhale, lifting the head up. Exhale, walking the feet back, placing the hands on the table or chair. Inhale, lifting the head. Exhale, reaching the hips back, staying for five breaths. Five breaths, inhale, lifting the head up. Exhale, walking the feet in, releasing the hands down. Inhaling again, lifting the head. Exhale, releasing down. Inhale, taking the arms up above the head, palms touch. Exhale, releasing down to the side, Samastiti. Surya Namaskara B, very much the same way. Inhale, bending the knees, taking the arms up. Exhale, releasing down towards the floor. Inhale. 
inhale, lifting the head up. And exhale, bringing the hands to a table or chair, walking the feet back. Inhale, lifting the head up. And exhale, stepping the right foot forward, bending the knee. Inhale, taking the arms up, palms touch above the head. Exhale, returning the hands to a table or chair, walking the feet back. Inhale, lifting the head up. Exhale, lowering down. Left foot stepping forward, bending the knee. Inhale, taking the arms up, palms touch above the head. Exhale, releasing the hands back towards the table or chair, walking the feet back. Inhaling again, lifting the head up. Exhale, reaching the hips back, staying for five breaths. Five breaths, inhale, lifting the head up. Exhale, walking the feet in, releasing the hands to the floor. Inhale, lifting the head. Exhale, lowering the head down. Bending the knees, inhale, taking the arms up, palms touch above the head. Exhale, straighten the legs, release the hands to the side, samastiti. Now it's your turn to give it a shot. Let me know in the comments below how it goes for you. Don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. We're doing more of these info tutorial sessions on how to break down your Ashtanga practice for injuries, for everything that goes in between for you. No mistakes.